Ever hear the old saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it very well might be? Well, it feels like ROH got a recent reminder of just how true that statement can actually be. As a lot of you by now surely know, Ring of Honor had a deal, an agreement in place at least, if anything else, with Madison Square Garden to run an event there in 2019, which everybody knows was going to be a WrestleMania weekend event. Because WrestleMania 35, of course, is going to be in the New York, New Jersey area. So ROH, like other smart wrestling promotions, would want to run one of their biggest shows of the year in the biggest media market in this country, one of the biggest cities in the world, and piggyback off of what is that WrestleMania week, that WrestleMania experience? In no way, shape, or form do I begrudge any of these wrestling companies for leeching off of WWE success or WWE in general because get in where you fit in. If the market's there and it's good for you, do it. So Ring of Honor thinks that they've got this deal in place. They've got an agreement. They're going to have a massive event at Madison Square Garden next year on WrestleMania weekend. You're probably going to have New Japan people be there as well. It's going to be a big to-do. It's going to be arguably easily the biggest show in the company's history after over a decade and a half of existence. And while I don't like the company's product, I choose not to watch the company, and I don't really care about it, it's a good thing. Because I still look at the bigger picture of professional wrestling and I say, hey, even if I don't watch, the fact that another company could run a Madison Square Garden type of venue is good for the business, it's good for the workers, it's good for the fans, it is good for everybody. There literally, to me, is no bad that comes out of it, realistically. There just isn't any bad. So I root for companies to be able to get into this type of position because it makes the WWE take notice, but more so it just provides more options, more viable, legitimate options, and that's a good thing. And you could be concerned about oh, Madison Square Garden. You're trying to run that type of venue on that type of weekend. What happens if you only sell out half the venue? Well, even in that case, you're still talking about eight to 10,000 fans, which would be a huge audience for ROH. And you can structure the way you present your product to hide the fact that the arena is half empty because that's still a shit ton of people. So it's one of those ding dong dum dicks, just do it type of propositions. But unfortunately for ROH, it wasn't meant to be. And the reality was it was never going to be, as we should know by now, because once the WWE caught wind of this, they had themselves a little conversation with Madison Square Garden officials, and now ROH has lost the agreement, lost the deal to run their show next year on WrestleMania weekend. I don't think that really surprises anybody. Madison Square Garden is pissed off because WWE stopped running a lot of events there, especially when you talk about SummerSlam, and in particular talking about WrestleMania weekend. WWE is going to be there next year in the New York area, and they had absolutely nothing planned for the Garden, and the Garden is pissed off and a little butthurt how the WWE has turned to the Barclays Center as their default New York arena, as opposed to the Garden, which there are reasons in terms of the rent of the facility and so on and so forth. And you look at it from a WWE standpoint, what does it really matter, Garden or Barclays? You're still running a big arena in the biggest city in the country, the biggest media market in the country. Why do they care? The WWE has leverage and they're exercising leverage. Again, I do not fault them or begrudge for that. So it's not a surprise that Madison Square Garden, in a lot of ways, tried to use ROH as a leveraging piece to get the WWE really to the negotiating table and try to hash some shit out and straighten some things up. It's also not surprising to see WWE get a little bit protective of their turf and say, no, nah, we can't let this happen. We're not going to let this happen. And they're going to exercise some leverage too. And both sides did. And ultimately ROH loses their deal. ROH had to know this was a possibility. Joe Coff and the rest of the executives 
uh, both with Sinclair and Ring of Honor in general, had to know that this could happen, that you could be doing some type of verbal agreement and it didn't mean two hella beans. It didn't mean even the words that were spoken to come to the agreement. You had to know you were going to be a pawn. Now, a lot of people, if they're upset because ROH is being used as a pawn here, unfortunately, that's the business world. It's all about control and leverage and who has it and who's trying to get it. Plain and simple. And the fact is, based off of our quasi-bullshit free market system, it really isn't free market because the opportunities are not equal, even if the talent is somewhat equally distributed. The haves continue to have, and the haves-nots continue to have not. It's that simple. It really is that simple. That's not even a political thing. That's just common sense. Those that have the money have the power and continue to entrench themselves in positions of power so that way they can make even more money. And you see that with the WWE versus ROH in this case. If you're Madison Square Garden, who are you going to side with? If you say ROH because you have principle or this or that, you're just being a fool. It's just not how business works. So what does that mean for fans? Well, I know what it means for me. Like I said, I do not begrudge WWE and MSG for fucking over Ring of Honor in the sense of that's the way the business world works. I don't begrudge MSG for backing out of a deal with Ring of Honor, especially if it wasn't official, it wasn't officially announced in terms of it actually being on paper. If it wasn't on paper, it wasn't a signed contract, and furthermore, even if there was a signed contract and it had some type of out for MSG, then that's Ring of Honor's fault for not hurrying up and getting the stuff done. That's also Ring of Honor's fault for allowing themselves to potentially be used as pawns. They had to know going in that this is a potential possibility of what could happen. So MSG did what was best for MSG. WWE did what was best for WWE, all the while making sure that they stuck it to the little guy and made sure that they fucked somebody else over. But that's been Vince's whole mindset for generations now. So that is nothing new. And as far as Ring of Honor, they'll, I'm sure, they'll end up in the Hammerstein Ballroom or somewhere else and still put on the WrestleMania weekend show. But for me, one thing I don't like is seeing the little guy get pushed around. The little guy get bullied. I don't like that. I had to deal with that for years growing up, so I most certainly as an adult do not like to see that now. And as much as I don't like ROH, as much as I dislike their product, there's also something bigger at play here to me, and that is this godlike complex that WWE has where they didn't really care about MSG anymore because they got this new rig shiny toy in Barclays Center until somebody else actually wanted to use MSG and all of a sudden, whoa, 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 pump the brakes here, son. We got us a flipping problem. It's like a little freaking kid hadn't played with a toy in months, but all of a sudden another kid wants to play with the toy and now they get all protective of it and they get all butthurt and bothered by the mere fact or illusion that somebody else wanted to play with their toy because it was theirs. It's mine! 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 That's how petty this crap is. And when you think about it, when you think about Vince specifically, 70 plus year old man can be childish as all get out and everybody knows it. So what this sometimes kid, hopefully usually adult, is going to do is going to have ROH's back up as much as I possibly can. I will make sure, regardless of what they do on WrestleMania weekend, regardless of what show or shows they put on, the talent that's involved, the matches that are booked, I do not care at this point. I do not like seeing the little guy get bullied, so I damn sure am going to make sure that I buy on pay-per-view or however it's going to be delivered, one or both of the ROH WrestleMania weekend shows. And I encourage, excuse me, all of you to do this same thing. And we know I'm no ROH shill. 
I could be just fine if Ring of Honor never showed up on a crappy Sinclair Fox broadcasting station at 11.35 on a Sunday night. Believe me. Every time I see it, I'm like, <laughs> time to hit the hay. But what happened to ROH is still crap. What happened to ROH is still bullshit. It happens. That's the business world. But as a consumer, I can make a decision on my own and my decision is is to help ROH by supporting their WrestleMania weekend shows as a little bit of a thumbing of my nose and a little bit of a screw you to WWE for this crap because what they did was crap well within their rights to do so but it doesn't mean that it still wasn't crap so when it comes time for WrestleMania weekend next year I will be purchasing the ROH WrestleMania weekend shows. I might even buy some freaking ROH merchandise. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a Jay Lethal shirt or something. I'll feel somewhat good about that. But you goddamn right I'm going to support them because screw Vince and screw WWE for pulling this bullshit. Screw Vince, screw Madison Square Garden for sitting there and leaving the little guy blowing in the damn breeze. They were well within their rights to do so, just like I'm well within my rights to help the little guy get one over as much as I possibly can. So I encourage you again, join with me next year, WrestleMania weekend. I don't care if you buy the ROH show and then choose to not watch it. It seems like it's stupid. It is. But you know what? It's still going to a good cause. I don't want people in ROH to think they're a charity, but damn it all, this is a charitable type of situation. I'm feeling charitable with my money. I'm going to give that company some damn money because fuck the WWE, fuck them for what they've done to the wrestling business, and fuck them for trying to screw over other companies that are trying to do good and trying to make the wrestling business a better place for the workers. That's what WWE does. They don't want to see that. They want to keep the other companies down as much as they possibly can because they want to continue their monopolization of the industry so they can keep prices down and they make it where it's their way is the only way. And I won't have that. Screw them. I got your back, ROH. I hope you guys do too.